<laughs> okay. This hose they're installing is uh, copper, so it's coiled with an insulated arm over it, sleeve. So that's why they have to be extremely cautious because once you crimp copper, co <laughs> once you crimp copper, it's it's uh, no good. So is this going to be connected directly to the power through this, or is mm -hmm. it going to, because I see there's a plug-in looking thing over there. Okay, so, with no more than I do. Uh, oh, that's got to go over here for the control, okay. I was going to say, roll that backwards, honey. Still on the uh, Hang on, let's get this stupid cable that I had to have. You're having, hitting the cable. I know, I'm only saying that because I know you can't see what I can see. There you go. Should I put those uh, Christian slang words on video? Stupid and shut up. Because this is supposed to be tightened to exactly 50 newton meters. <laughs> what is that? It's a Torx back in Germany. So, do they have a tool that counts newton meters? Uh huh. What is that, your elbow? A fig newton meter. So, you wait for 20 minutes for these to stay in negative pressure. And if they stay on negative pressure, then that means that the Freon is in the system the way it's supposed to be? No, it means the lines are vacuumed, properly vacuumed out, and they are... Leak-free. Leak-free, as long as that needle stays at 30 of mine. Those needles right there. Again. The gauge is still at minus 30. 
been 20 minutes and the the needle hasn't moved it's uh it's pinned so i think our system is good i think that everything is sealed properly and i'm ready to get some cold air release the freon and hopefully have some cold air here in a little bit so they did the vacuum so that they can make sure that the pipe or the tube holds pressure so when we put the freon and, or release the freon into the same tubes or pipes or whatever you want to call it it doesn't we don't lose it we don't lose that freon if we did we're looking at 500 maybe more now because of the price of increase of absolutely everything so i'm going to release freon here release the hounds yeah. hold on for freedom <laughs> wait freedom for freedom for Freon, did you just say that? <laughs> so this unit uh, provides both heat and air. That's why they call it a mini split system. Um, this is rated for four to six hundred square feet. We have three hundred square feet, and it's rated for negative thirteen degrees. And it's not uncommon for us in northern Michigan, Michigan, to get get into the negative degrees absolutely um, for a consistency of two to three weeks um, if that happens and this has a hard time keeping up with it because basically it's a heat pump is what it is um, then we have our little wood stove that if we needed to we could plenty assist yeah use that and for ambient it's already cozy enough as it is in the shipping container. It'll be perfect with that big window. Sitting on the sofa with the little wood stove going, Christmas music. No this one is gonna release a little Freon until I get it off completely. Did you read directions, honey, on how to turn it on? Yes? No. Why would you do that? Why would you read directions? So it's 4.10 p.m. and we just turned that on. I set it to low. So it goes as low as 62 degrees um, and it is 85 degrees in here and 65% humidity and it's 4 10 p.m. So let's see how quick we can get this to 74 degrees. Hey everyone, <laughs> it's good to be back. Just giving you an update on our mini split install and um, it's been about three months since we first installed it and um, overall I'd have to say we're pretty happy with it. It was um, warm, very warm when we first installed it in the uh, 80s and high humidity and um, it did a great job cooling our house and now that we're in the colder months um, we've had a chance to see what it'll do for us in the cold and it's just been fantastic. It's um, running full blast right now and it's probably 74 degrees in here. Very comfortable and the unit is super quiet. You know, you can't hear it right now even while it's running full blast. And, yeah, um, so it, um, it, it took two hours to cool it down from the last clip that you saw in the summertime uh, in the high 80s to get it down to 74 and I think it was 46 percent uh, humidity which was incredibly comfortable and uh, we've had mm, down to 12 degrees 9 degrees mm -hmm. consistently um, within the last month we're a couple of days past Christmas so uh, even the floor has been very very comfortable we put four inches pardon me, four inches of insulation in the flooring. I was most concerned about that. Ask him, I, 
I really kind of was like, I really want more than just two inches. And so we did the four inches and between the mini split and that insulation, I would say it's very comfortable. So we just wanted to take a moment to thank you as subscribers and all the new subscribers that we've gained in the last couple of days. Thank you especially for the shares, the likes and the comments. Um, we greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy our videos, please subscribe and please uh, comment down below on YouTube. It really helps us. Yes. Hey! You're so dirty. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? No, you don't. You're so dirty. No, I don't believe you. I, I know. Hey!